Hey YouTube, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, this is your boy, Butt Lord. I know it's been a while since the last episode. Um, and I don't play this game that often anymore. Uh, the plan for this episode um, is we'll be going through the Mario items. Um, see if I can purchase them still. I don't know if they're on like a limited time release or something. We'll be going through them. See if we can make something nice out of them. I'm excited to try the warp pipes. Uh, but hold on, let's just go through Isabel's intro. It's 9.11am on Funny on a Thursday, April 1st. And don't forget Bunny Day is just a few hops away. Oh man. I don't know if they added new stuff for bunny day i remember i did that and i recorded all of that last year but i don't know it was just kind of annoying um because you know got in the way of fishing and like balloons chopping trees all of that but i don't know uh they've added more items i think i still have the eggs from last time no i crafted them all and then sold all of them so i won't have them anymore um, but I hope there are new items, even though, I don't know, I think the Easter items are really ugly, whatever. All right, let's check the mail before we head on to the shop. Happy Home Academy, rank B. So, Nook, all right, Nook Inc., uh, it's been a year since we saw this adventure with the Nook Inc. This calls for celebratory gift. Oh, okay, so I've had this island for a year now. Cool. And then mum got me... I don't know, actually. We'll see what we got. Alright, these gifts. What do we get? We got fireplace. That could be cool. First anniversary tape cake and mum's tea cozy actually let, the first thing i want to do is because i remember mum's birthday cake that she gives you you can customize that let's see if we can oh we can't customize the anniversary cake but we can customize the tea cozy um <laughs> okay cool there's one that's just it's just a blue cat oh easy one thing I really wish that Animal Crossing New Horizons had would be that if you tried to um, use like the workshop inside your house, it would take all the ingredients from your storage. So you didn't have to put them into your inventory every time, but what you're going to do, I guess. Um, oh yeah, because it's been a month after step on all my cockroaches. So let's just go through the house, get rid of these cockroaches. Um, I'll try to play more. The The plan right now is mainly I just record um, whenever there's some kind of like special event or new update out. Um, I have the Animal Crossing Twitter on notifications now. Um, so hopefully I'll actually get notified whenever there's some kind of big update. I don't know. If the Animal Crossing Twitter updates frequently or not, but hopefully they do. Uh, Alright, let's see. Done my east and west wing of the house. I've got to have a picture of Isabel in my house, just like in the main room. Um, and there's a cockroach over there, but I can't get to it. Right, that that cockroach can stay alive then. <laughs> He's trapped in um that little spot there as well, so uh, at the basement. It's weird how the cockroaches oh that's right. yeah, my, my B room. I somehow I actually forgot about the B room. I think it's my favourite room in the house.
then back up to the attic, which is my bedroom. Well, it's not really an attic, just upstairs. Cool. Hopefully that's enough cockroaches for now. I don't know if they, the cockroaches stay around if I don't kill them. I assume, I think they just disappear at some point. Because I don't think I killed them all last time. I took a big break. Um, and I think they all disappeared then. Uh, Alright, let's go up to the shop. Actually, I should probably put a bunch of stuff in storage. Because um, my inventory is quite full. So back into the house we go. Um, and there we go, yeah, put, put all this stuff in storage. Oh, I definitely need to find a place for the, um, the fireplace, actually. A place for the fireplace. So I want to keep, oh yeah, I grabbed these sand dollars from storage, so I do want to. Keep them. Terror body. Terror body. I will sell the terror bodies. Um, I can't even remember why I took so much stuff out of my inventory. Or out of my storage last time. Should I probably keep in clumps of weed? I guess I should. Natural garden chair. Put that away. Boring. Is my plan to sell all of this? Don't even remember. Um, I think it might have been because I still have like a couple of fossils that I definitely need to sell. But in my put away this bandana, tuxedo jacket. All right, everything's done. All right, now we can go to the shops. I think I had to. I did look it up briefly, but I don't actually entirely remember. I think I have to talk to Tom Nook, and then he takes me to like a special event shop. Uh, no, oh wait, it wouldn't be Tom Nook. It would be his kids. Obviously. Let's go over to there. So yeah, I want to get some Mario stuff just around the island. Um, I also want to look at, I need to do a bit of weeding. I want to look at maybe redoing some of the um design slots. Because some of them aren't necessary anymore. Like the pole vault zones. Like I know they were funny at, you know, one point. Um, but now that I have bridges, they're like, I don't know, the joke's kind of gone now. I don't know. The, the design slots, I think, are my favourite part of the game. It just means I can put anything anywhere. Alright, we're at Nook's Cranny. So... Not today. Right. Okay. All right. See ya. Would it be at the Nook ATM thing? All right. Let's just go back onto this. It's Tom Nook in it. I do have to use the shop terminal. Damn it. Actually. Ah. Uh, well. Whatever. I was thinking I would just quickly look at what was uh, at the Nook shop, but then I left. I also see, yeah, there we go. That's that damn Bunny Day Bunny. How long does Bunny Day go for? Is it the entirety of April? Probably. Let's have a look at. Let's go to access the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, so much text just to use the shopping terminal. 
Nook Shopping, right? Yeah. And Special Goods. Promotional, here we go. Here's all the Mario stuff. Cool, and I got plenty of Nook points to spend as well. Uh, says shortly. I forget, is the Nook my own shop where I get it instantaneously, or do I have to wait a day? If I have to wait a day, that sucks. I'll have to do that next episode. Um, block with your hat. Oh, can I get just a full Mario outfit? I can. Oh. I don't remember if I have, like, a limit on how many I can buy. So I'll, just, I'll buy all the Princess Peach stuff first to see if I'm limited in that way. But hopefully I can just buy as much as I want. Let's see. Do actually. Ah, uh, man, actually that sucks. I was going to buy all the mustaches for Luigi Mario Warrior, but I don't like the big nose they have. Um, the kind of ruins it for any purpose other than just the cosplay. Okay, Let's see, what can I actually do with all this? I guess I could... Hmm. I guess I could play, the, play some mushrooms around. I'll, I'll buy some coins. Oh, damn it, I reached my max. So I have to, I can just buy five every day is basically what I have. And I guess since it's in like the promotional tab, there probably is some kind of time limit on how long that stuff is going to be around. Do I have it in my mail? No, I have to wait till tomorrow. Damn. All right. Well, that kind of sucks. There goes my main plan for the day. Let's just go around and collect today's fossils. Because um, I have uh, uh, some extra copies in my bag that I'll sell. Oh, my stupid eggs appearing in the fossil holes. That means it's going gonna, it's gonna to take extra long to find everything. Okay. Breeding flowers, by the way. I just do not really have the patience for it. I know how I'm supposed to do it. But I just think I'm too lazy. And I can't... I don't know, it just doesn't look nice. Like, the way you're supposed to set up flowers and stuff. Like, having them all diagonally. I don't like the way it looks, so... I haven't gotten around to it. I guess I don't really care that much if I have flowers of every color. Um, how many fossils are there each day? I think it's five. So I should need have I picked up so far? I've got four. Let's just keep looking. I need to find a way to make it just a bit more convenient to get up on the different layers of my island. You know, on the right side. We just have to run. Oh, hold on. Message in a bottle. Let's see what's in that. DIY recipe. The pot. All right. So that's worthless. I 
I I really wish you could just place stairs diagonally. Actually, sorry, um, horizontally. This picked up a lost item. I'll probably try to reunite this with the phone. Oh, I forgot about that. I think I've only found one before for this one. Uh, so, okay, here are a couple fossil spots. Egg. I can't believe they really just did the same thing as they did last year when everyone complained about Bunny Day. And I still have a bunch of extra bees just outside the shop. Let's, even though I know these fossil spots are just going to be earth eggs, I'll collect them anyway just because they're so unsightly. And do I have this snail already? Got a snail, it's not much to break about, all right. I, I believe I recognize that line, so I probably have caught one already. I can't even be bothered with the little money spots anymore because just, now that I know how like the turnip stock stock market works, it's just so much better to invest my money in that. Um, and the the money trees just become a waste of time. All right. Let us assess my fossils. I think I only have like one or two items left from fossils. Um, damn. Alright, nothing new here. And then, do I have... Have nothing. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That just means I can sell everything. Let's grab those bees that are put outside the front of the shop. And I should be able to make some good money. Um, wait, where are the bees? I think I put them in the wrong spot, actually. I put them... Alright, hold on. Let's talk to this stupid bunny. So, hello. Ugh. Shut up. I've already met you. I met you last year. I don't want to know about your favorite holiday. Just. Tell me, is, is there extra stuff I can craft that I couldn't craft last year? Let's look for eggs. That's my buddy plan. I already know where to find them. Actually, I suppose instead of talking to this guy, I could just look it up, see if there are any new Bunny Day items. Minecraft one. And... Because, you know, you get, I don't even remember what the special item was that you get if you make all the DIY recipes, but what I was going to ask is, um, do I get, well, are they all the same DIY recipes? Do I get credit for the ones I made last year? It 
it's so easy to get distracted in this game because I'm I'm picking up weeds now. I'm supposed to be collecting bees. Now where did I put that now? I also need to start thinking about what I want to do with um, the design slots. Because I've decided I'm going to get rid of the pole vault zones. But I just don't know what to replace them with. I'll have to just like run around the town and see kind of like what extra details are missing. Let's sell fossils and stuff. How much do I get from this? Forty-four thousand bells. Cool. All right, and let's see. I can buy a drinking fountain here. I can buy a lava lamp fridge. I mean, a fridge is always good to have. Sixty thousand bells. I mean, yeah, I'll buy it. Alright, um, gun faucet. How much is it? 1900, that's alright. And. Lamp. Alright, that's pretty cheap as well. Cool. What's, what's this like? Chocolate egg platter. Bunny Day Candy. Yeah, I'll get that. I won't use it, but I'll get it. Oh, I can buy infinite of those, that's right. Alright, see you nerds. Okay. Let's have a look around, see what I could place to replace the off volt slots. I also am thinking about possibly replacing all the slots that I use for hopscotch. I do love the little hopscotch field I have, um, but if I go to my custom designs, they're taken up one, two, Three, four, five, six. Yeah, six slots. Which I guess isn't too bad. And actually, I have a, a few more free ones than I thought I did. So I might not have to even get rid of the pole vault stuff yet. I have five free ones. Uh, my place. First thing I was thinking about was possibly like welcome mats to put in front of doors. Um, and actually I wasn't going to do that because I didn't want to waste up possibly two slots to get it done. But now that I know I have the extra slots, I'm going to do it. So... Let's change the design for that. I think I will need two slots. So let's look up a welcome mat for reference. All right, let's, so, tool, fill all with, Uh, yeah, I want the brown color. Um, 
keep it the I need to change palette actually for this because I want like a most I want various browns and blacks. This one will work well. That a good, yeah, that works well enough. Um, pen. All right, let's. Just gonna add random, like, kind of darker spots around the mat, just to kind of give it that texture. It's not just a flat color. Yeah, that looks okay, maybe. I don't know. Um, and actually, do I want it to be this big? Uh, I think. Okay, let kind of get it started. We'll actually, we'll round this out a bit. Yeah, because I worried actually when I place that, it will just be huge. So, um, is there an eraser tool? Oh no, I just have to use the tra transparent color. I also need to change these edges a little. Um, because the way Animal Crossing kind of. Ah, oh, goddammit. Um, undo, undo. The way, well, I was saying, the way Animal Crossing kind of like auto curves out the edges sometimes gives a bit of a weird look. I need to make sure it doesn't look completely terrible like it kind of does right now. Hmm. Uh, that might be okay actually. Let's, I just need the uh, kind of border around this. Yeah, that looks good enough. Uh, uh. All right, yeah, cool. That is the right spot. All right there, cool. So it kind of looks symmetrical. And then change this to mel welcome at left. And I suppose because I'm like limited in terms of pixels, it might need to be huge. Don't know yet. See how the smallest we can make the text actually, and I'll base it off of that. So if I stand here. Let's 
bland round. Ah, uh, hmm. That's actually something I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting it to actually be symmetrical with the door in terms of position. Ah, oh, so I'd... If I wanted to do it that way, I might actually have to make it like three tiles wide. Like a middle tile and then just the edges on the left and right. That's... That's too many. All right, we need to see if we can do this in just one slot, which I don't think we can. Um, so, tool, let's fill all with that base color again. Need a rectangle tool. About that big. I actually also have to move. Can I just move everything up like that? Okay, I can. Awesome. Right, how small can I make the characters for welcome? All right, they will need to be Oof. They will need to be at least three high. I can say that with confidence. Um so five high and three wide, I think. Yeah, that might just work. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have the room. I actually, I think I will. Just barely. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. I do just barely. It's like one pixel off from being symmetrical. Hmm. Is there a way I can shorten characters? Yeah, right. Let's. Move this all to the left slightly. Um, looks terrible, but fix that. We'll just cover the first three letters and then fix that up. Yeah, right. yeah, I can shorten the L. The L is an easy one to shorten, so. Yeah, okay, cool. Sweet. So that's the text for the welcome mat. I made it as small as I possibly could. And now I need to try to I guess make this look a little bit nicer so I'll round out the edges a little bit we will grab the paint tool and make the outside transparent um Okay, hold on, I need to make it just like one pixel longer. So it's symmetrical at the top and left. And 
then mm, I can't really like put I don't have the room to put this like extra design in. It's not much. Do that. Just put a single line at the top and bottom, but that's kind of boring. But also better than nothing. If actually you know what? Yeah, that works well. Yeah, cool. I can I can live with this. Cool. Sometimes the way Animal Crossing auto curves out the colors works really well. And add a bit of this color around the place just to give it a better texture. I'm pretty happy with this actually. Ooh, it's gonna take ages to actually fill this up with this secondary color. Hopefully the uh, no, okay, cool. The curving isn't messing with the black at all, so that works fine. done. Ah, crap. No, that's fine. That's an easy fix. I don't know how you would describe the texture of a welcome mat, but I feel I've nailed it. I mean, what do you think? You can see it. How do you think it looks? And... Awesome. Sweet. Save that. Cool. I can put that in front of houses. That'll look good, I think. So let's stand up the right place. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. I just need a. I think I need to go like right up to the door and then place it. Okay, cool. Okay, I just have to move it down a bit. In the actual design. And that, that should automatically change the one that's already placed, right? Oh, that's so perfect. Sweet. Welcome. Very cool. A place over there. All right. Awesome. Oh man. <laughs> Why do I have so many houses? 
flat ground. Oh, do I still have that stupid monkey living in town? So I might have to come up with a different design for her. Um, so it says like not welcome or something like that. I think she lived at the top right. One of my friends still plays Animal Crossing and she sends me screenshots every now and then of uh, my villagers coming to live on her island or asking to live there and haven't gotten um, the stupid monkey out of my island. Now, no, is that it? Is that the one I want to be rid of? It is you. Amelia is good. Don't, Amelia, don't hang out with Anna. You can find better company than that. Alright, so I need to I need to make a not welcome sign for Nana. And then put the welcome sign on everyone else. I hate the auto positioning of custom design sometimes when you put them on the ground. Um it's just you swear you're not standing at that spot and it still places it there. That's everyone, everyone's house except Nana's. So let's go through. Um, we can copy the welcome mat. No, no, no. I want to copy. Yeah, there we go. And how do I how do I most effectively change this to say not well? I wish I could select a specific area and move that down. If I could just move the welcome text itself down, then I could add not to the top. Um and why isn't there a selection tool? Alright. I'll just have to do it manually, I guess. Um, we will use the paint bucket tool to get rid of that stuff and that stuff. Get rid of the detail. And then I can start manually changing. It looks terrible like midway through the update because I'm making the text overlap, but trust me, once I actually start erasing it or erasing the old text, it'll look a lot better. Then I need that color. Yeah, cool. One too many black dots. All right, cool. That's well done. Now I need. Let's see if that color works well. No, no. I will just have to stick to black. I wanted like a 
a red knot. Um, you know what? N specifically is a really difficult letter, so I'll have to extend how big the letters are for the word not, which actually that works fine because I don't need anywhere near as much room. Word not. Not welcome. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, should I add it? <laughs> there we go. Let's add little sad faces in. Yeah. That's what I like to see. And now we'll just finish the texturing because I had to remove some of that. Okay, uh, we're just about done. I think once I, yeah, once I finish this design um, and put that on Nana's house, I'll just end the part. Um, but I'm really glad uh, you got to see this because this, I think, is awesome. Not wrong color. God. Ah, the controls are so fiddly, especially when you're trying to go pixel by pixel. Is that everything? No, hold on, I'm missing a couple of ones down here. Right, cool, that's all of it. Can I... Yeah, there we go. Display on ground. Ah, there we go. There we go. Now Nana knows how I feel every time she goes into our house. Cool. All right. So that's that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.